I went to Thiruvannamalai the first time in 1949 when I was 12 plus with my parents and my brother and my grandmother and one more person in our car who drove us, who was with us. My father was a district judge at Salem. In the summer vacation, we had gone to Thiruvannamalai. Niranjananda Swami, the then Sarvadikari president of Sri Ramanashramam, looked after us very, very well. So my father specially introduced all of the family, including myself. Bhagwan did not answer anything, but he was, his face was very, that magnificent look and the compassionate look and uh, his head was shaking like this. We had very good darshan. My music teacher had uh, taught me songs on Lord Subramanya. So in, when I was sitting facing Bhagwan, now and then I would open my eyes, look at him, then close my eyes and go on singing that song in my mind, that Lord Muruga's song. At that time, little did I know that Bhagwan is the avatar of Lord Subramanya. Then much later we came to know that many devotees believed that he is the avatar of Subramanya and I too believe that because I am a great uh, uh, admirer of Muni's uh, works to which I, I had the good fortune to set music to the entire, all the works of Muni on Bhagwan. I was born in a musical family, not a normal musical family. Because 24 hours they were soaked in music. And I was given deep training in music from the age of four. Now I can, afterwards, when I came to Ramana music, I can, I realized that Bhagwan has brought me into the musical family in order to completely identify myself in Ramana music and completely, what should I say, bathe in Ramana music and live in Ramana music and live Ramana music and through the music, how my husband and myself were brought together, that's a great miracle. Right from day one till today, Bhagwan has been performing miracle after miracle, miracle after miracle in my life. My husband's grandfather, A.S. Krishna Swami, your subject, Kadalur, it has come in Ramanashram records also. He was the first person, he acted as an interpreter between Humphreys and Bhagwan at Virupaksha cave. Uh, my father was working sometime at Vellur, sometime at Madhanapalli, the places in between that uh, uh, Madhanapalli is one side of Thirunamalai, Vellur is another side of Thirunamalai. Whenever we used to go, he used to get down at Thirunamalai and he said, I will have the son of Bhagwan and then join you. And all my predecessors, including my parents, have had darshan of, darshan of Bhagavan many times. Only I had the good fortune to see at least once. All my husband's predecessors also have had darshan of Bhagavan. My husband read Arthur Osborne's, what is that book? The Path of Self-Knowledge, The Path of Self-Knowledge. And before marriage, that one thing I should say, before marriage, my husband was a great Shiva Bhakta. And we both went once 
and uh, stayed in Ramanashram Morvi guest house. Immediately after that, we were, my husband was posted to Salem as income tax officer. We used to the Ramakrishna, but we were devotees at that time, we were devotees of Ramakrishna mission. The, we used to go to Ramakrishna Mat daily evening. And uh, the President Swami at the Shalam, at the head of Shalam Ashrama, he had had darshan of Bhagavan many times and he was a devotee of Bhagavan too. So in his presence we will sit and read Bhagavad Gita, Gospel of Ramakrishna and uh, Bhagwan's works also. And slowly my husband was getting attracted to Bhagwan's teaching and uh, starting to feel that that's the only way, that's the only teaching and uh, becoming more and more fanatic. And used to argue with all those who came there and we used to have a satsang daily evening. We went to Thruvannamalai by car. My husband was driving, Leveraja Mudaliyar was sitting by his side and I was sitting at the back. The whole journey, Devaraja Mudaliyar was narrating so many incidents from Bhagwan's life. And after reaching Thruvannamalai, when we went to ashram, Devaraja Mudaliyar introduced my husband to T. N. Vankat Raman, the later Ramanananda Swami, the ex-president of Ramanashramam, as A. R. Natarajan, income tax officer, Shalam. That very minute, T. N. Vankat Raman Mama gave his hand to my husband and just caught hold of him. From that minute till the end of his life, So uh, such a close connection with ashram and TNB we had and my husband served, served the ashram, any call and any bid from Ramana ashram, he would immediately take it up and try to do his best. <laughs> 